Gemini, Aquarian, Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, and Cross Watchers. Welcome to your five card draw. What do I need? Read for this new moon in Pisces to full moon in Virgo, February into March 2022. That's still a mouthful. I am your reader, Mark Angela Lyons Mal for short. Professional witch, professional intuitive, president of Drawing the Circle Productions since 1998. May 1st makes 25 years, folks. Yay! <laughs> I'm the author of Words of Grace from a Professional Witch. Oh, my book. It's available on Kindle. There's a link in the description box. If you click it, you can preview it for free if you like uh, and see some of the prayers and the practices that got me this far. A lot more that haven't been written down, but whatever. And while you're down there in the description box, why don't you click the link for Patreon, patreon.com slash drawing the circle my members only subscription platform that allows me as a mystical artist a spiritual teacher a professional intuitive and all sorts of sorts of the opportunity to do my thing big time at the moment we have eight levels of subscribers seekers humans heroes angels witches immortals mystics gods goddesses is one tier it is the top tier they get everything available on patreon but all of my subscribers uh, starting with secret all the way through get the extended readings i got a lot of them all the part twos to the part one here on youtube they also get the daily check-ins uh, uh, an unlisted youtube live stream link with me every single morning they can chat with me like this kind of chat with me talking about the day's astrological weather the magical applications the spiritual implications all Always ending with a little prayer, a little blessing, a little meditation, a little something, something to send us on our way. It is my favorite way to start the day. And yeah, I know it rhymes. It's okay that it rhymes. It just happens that way sometimes. Oh, oops. I did it again. Uh, and uh, uh, the, apparently Patreon is uh, getting ready uh, to possibly, they're talking about, allowing free uh, uh, subscription. Well, I don't know a subscription if you're not paying, but you can subscribe for free. And if that was the case, I would give whatever we call that uh, the freebies. I don't know. We'll come up with something. Uh, I would get them then daily check-ins, but the extended raids, yeah, they'd have to move upwards for that one because that's the world we're in. So I'm very, very happy over there. And if you are interested in a deeper dive, more magic, more miracles, more mysticism, more mal, in other words, me every day, it could be fun, it is, uh, then uh, come play Patreon on Patreon. I'm the Archangel of Lions, Mark Angel of Lions. And if you want to see what that's all about, click the link. And until then, just call me now. <laughs> it's not like I'm going to change my name. You don't kind of have to. <laughs> my name is Mark Angelo Lyons. It's pretty much the Archangel of Lions. But that's a, a story for another day. If you are new to the channel, my channel, my work, a five card draw is just one card for five different decks, getting you clues, tips, and hints about really anything you want. Uh, but in this case, a two week period, a waxing. Uh, half moon cycle uh, from a what you call a beautiful nudiful in this case from Pisces uh, to Virgo February March these five decks also represent the five magical elements fire earth <laughs> I'm doing the books air water and spirit with the Matt Khan healing mantra deck to bring it all together to help you uh, uh, align refine clarify your intentional process to plant a seed at at the new moon and help it grow for two weeks, uh, harvesting at the full. Uh, uh, so your spell work, your law of attraction, your creative process, your whatever you want to call it, manifestational who's what's is to help get some clarity, guidance, and grace, because this is important. The first card down, the element of fire, represents what uh, your heart's desire or what is required to manifest your heart's desire. And your heart's desire, look, I know this sounds a little odd, but they're actually part of our soul contracts, what we came in to do. And, you know, we looked over the contracts and we're like, all right, if that's got to be my heart's desire, fine. I get to have chocolate. All right, <laughs> we'll do it. Pretty sure that's what got me back this time. Well, <laughs> and Patreon, I'm sure, or whatever, uh, Netflix, I don't know, all sorts of reasons. I came back in this life, apparently, to this planet again. Uh, so the more we are fulfilling our heart's desires, the more we are fulfilling what we came here to do, shifting not just our own personal lives and the lives of the people around us, but this entire planet to a more golden rather than leaded timeline, right? Uh, your heart's desires. Because think about it. The more of us who are doing what we came here to do, the the more the planet can keep moving forward to a happier, healthier, wealthier, wise, more golden rather than leaded version. Yeah. 
Sounds very Aquarian to me, don't it? Uh, so let's look at this astrology. We are talking about the new moon on Monday. Yeah, earworm, I know. Simon Levon, I love him. Uh, 40 year crush, whatever. No, that would make me five years old. No, 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 no. Whatever. It was, I'm Generation X. New moon in Pisces on Monday. Uh, uh, sorry, yeah, moon on Monday, February 20th, 2.06 a.m. Eastern. Now cast your heart's desires, right? Plant that seed. Put your heart into whatever it is that you do because it might be one of those things that might, uh, I can see an air sign equating it to the realm of fantasy on a Pisces moon on a moon day Monday, right? It could be a, a little outside of your purview, but you are freaks of the Zodiac Aquarians. So, you know, let yourself dream, right? What is it you really envision for yourself and for this world? Very good for a Pisces moon on Monday, but then the two weeks following, building, increasing, manifesting, whatever you want to call it, the full moon in Virgo on Tuesday, March uh, 7th, 7.40 a.m. Eastern. Uh, I'm in New York, right? In between those two dates, right? Because when the moon rises at her peak, then your heart's desires seek. But what we got to go through to get there, no retrogrades, thankfully, uh, the day of the new moon on Monday on the 20th. Um, Venus goes into Aries. Not a big deal. It changes signs every month or so. Uh, uh, on uh, March 2nd, uh, it, uh, uh, Mercury goes into Pisces. That's not a huge deal at all. Of course, if you got planets uh, in there, you might want to look at that. So far, we got a fire signs and water signs have some interesting angles hitting them. But this is one for everybody. On the 7th of March, uh, Saturn goes into Pisces, the collective unconscious, the 12th house dynamic. So that could be a bit much for everybody. So check your chart. Call your local astrologer for a checkup. Check your transits. This could be tricky because it does retrograde Saturn. Uh, it is the karmic teacher. We a lot of weird stuff going on on planet Earth emotionally, one would think. So uh, gird your loins, right? And uh, check your chart. Uh, otherwise, look, it's a general read. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Check your other signs, right? I don't understand why anybody would thumb down a general reading for any reader on YouTube or elsewhere. It's just not your read for the day. But do look at your other signs, right? Do look at the other titles, because if you see a repetition of theme or even a word, uh, it might be a clue, a tip, a hint to help you manifest your heart's desire. So, both feet on the floor if you can. Focus on your breath if you will, and I will do my best to get you the clarity, guidance, and grace. Doing what I do best in this world. This is what I do best in this world, I know. <laughs> it's, you know, it's a living. Life's not the French Riviera. Life's not a charity ball. Uh... <laughs> And Jillian. Uh, 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 so, so here's the tea. Crosswatchers, watching this, you will get some understanding, some sympathy, some empathy for the Aquarian you are crosswatching for. But if you apply this energetic process to yourself, whatever you want to call it, you will manifest something. You will wax something, inner, outer, maybe both. But you will also be assisting and greatly helping not just the Aquarian you are crosswatching for, but for the entire Aquarian collective sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. And that is helping heal the world. We're all one, and Aquarians have access to that higher knowledge, I think, in some ways more than any other sign. Uh, fixed air, the stratosphere, see the larger picture. Can That's why they're the freaks, man. <laughs> you guys are amazing. You think outside the box because you live outside that box at a very high altitude, fixed air, like the stratosphere. And that's why I have so many Aquarian friends. They just openly accept me as uh, the Leo rising their opposite sign freak that I am. But because of that, I have Aquarius in my seventh house, which means I'm usually attracted to freaks like crazy, or they're attracted to me. Freak magnet. So uh, let's do this. The shift from explanation to divination happens in the still point. And there's a lot of explanation, but that's okay. There's plenty of divination. Please take a nice deep breath. <sighs> still point. Why did I feel like the fun and games just ended? It's got serious. Okay, here we go. Oh, I call upon the ancestors. There you are, of magic, miracles, and mysticism for the Aquarian Collective. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, and cross watchers watching this video, receiving this reading, using the magical spell cards by Lucy Cavendish, representing the element of fire. What is the spell fragment to help them 
hone, refine, clarify what they yearn for, what they burn for, what their hearts desire to cast this beautiful, beautiful February, March. Oh, dream, sweet, sleep, deep. It's hard to say for some reason. And I've got a kitty cat giving me head bonkies. Milky, was that you? Who was that? They come and go. They come and go. Uh, the spell fragment, sleep that's deep and lasts till morn. I'm having a Kathy Griffin flashback. Oh, out in the morn in the wood with Sharon Stone. Sleep that's deep that lasts till morn. Wondrous dreams for days reborn. Now, that's inspirational. It's kind of both yin and yang, right? The yin. I'm going to sleep. I got a good night's sleep. We all need a good night's sleep, baby. Uh, and that lasts till morn, or at least whenever your alarm needs to go off. Wondrous dreams for days reborn. That's inspiration, right? So it's like relaxation, <laughs> shifting to inspiration, calling you forward. And what did I say about the new moon, right? It's the dreamy stuff, right? The new moon in Pisces. Shoot for the moon on this one. and Well, shoot for the stars. And if you just hit the moon, shit, at least you got some altitude, right? So dream, sweet, sleep, deep. That's hard to say, but I will do my best. Let's see what that's about. Interesting element of fire. Now, chances are that's not your heart's desire. Well, some days it feels like a good night's sleep is my heart's desire as a mystic. They wake my shit up at 3 a.m. all the time just to chat them divine beings. So, uh, you know, this is probably what is required to manifest your heart's desire for your element of fire, which is a lot of rhyming. So let's ground that. Let's give it some fuel with the element of earth using the Crystal Oracle by Tony Carmine Salerno. If you have the stone indicated and you want to use it as a memory stone, you know, just to remember, oh yeah, I got a piece of something cooking over a two-week period. Period. I don't talk about a slow cooker. Uh, or an amulet. Amulet away, it's protection. Talisman toward, it's magnet, right? Brings it to you. Um, uh, but some of these stones are incredibly rare. Some of them are very expensive. So just remember, clear quartz does everything. You can always grab a rock out in the yard, a piece of jewelry, something, tie a string to your finger, something physical. <sighs> but the oracle message is dominant. Please take a nice deep breath. It's a good way to say that. Still point. As I call to my beloved Archangel Ariel, one of the Archangels of the North Powers of Earth, hence the Crystal Oracle, beloved Archangel of Lions, after whom I was accidentally or very specifically named, uh, uh, one of the Archangels of Nature, right, the Archangel of Wealth, the Archangel of Lions, what is the element of Earth? The Crystal Oracle message, uh, the, f the element of Earth, the fuel to feed the fire to ground and manifest their heart's desire that either is or doth require uh, dreaming sweet and sleeping deep uh, their element of fire their heart's desire this beautiful nudiful smoky quartz <laughs> I have one like right up here somewhere Eh, it's there somewhere. I don't know. She back there. Smoky quartz, not hard to find. Won't break the bank, but you know, whatever. Grab a rock. No, not a big deal. Uh, smoky quartz is definitely a grounding stone, very root chakra, which for an air sign could help bring you so into your body that you're not in your mind and you can sleep. It's better than doing it through pain, right? To kind of get into your body. It's safe to be in your body. Unless it's not, and then it's really fucking hard to sleep, right? Uh, smoky uh, quartz. Emotional blockages. Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, this is an Aquarian read. No offense. No Tino shade. No pink lemonade. Oh, some pink lemonade, because I like pink lemonade. Uh, emotional blockage. Negative thoughts. Release, grounding, and protection. That's a lot. In a general read, that's like one, two, three, four, five different things that could be all at once, too. This beautiful smoky quartz crystal has appeared in your reading today to help you release and express the many emotions you have kept suppressed for quite some time. <laughs> I've dated a bunch of you. Yeah. 
<laughs> Maybe. Uh, well, we'll see in your element of water, the whispers of love oracle. We'll see what that's about. Uh, there is an emotional cause to all physical symptoms. So now that by so no K N O W that by acknowledging and expressing how you feel, you allow healing to occur. Do not be afraid to cry, for your tears will wash away your sadness and restore your emotional, mental, and physical well-being. It's true. There's biochemical components to every emotion we have. The moment we have an emotion, the hypothalamus creates something, something, sends it to every cell in the body, right? Plus, when you're afraid, stress, right? Cortisol, right? Stress hormone. And when you're like, hey, you know, dopamine and dolphins. I'm in it for the dim in dolphins. Postcards from the edge. Um... Uh, this is a really lovely thing. Uh, there is a jewel to be found in every teardrop. God, if that was the case, I know a lot of people who would be squirting onion juice in their eyes to get them jewels. Trust! Exclamation point. This card sig uh, signifies that a healing is occurring right now. And gee, doing that while you sleep, getting the rest that you need, getting inspired, recharging the battery. That sounds like a waxing moon thing to me. That feels like a seed you plant. And so, yeah, this is for your physical body, your emotional body, your mental body, your spiritual body. I just want to bookmark because it was five different things. I'm so in the moment when I do this. You think I can remember all that? Pff. Plus, I'm 54. Yeah, I know. I don't look at things. Let's keep going. <laughs> we switched out the Healing with the Angels Oracle by Doreen virtue, because she's problematic, uh, for the uh, he, uh, Archangel Fire Oracle by Alexander Wenman, the newest addition to the Drawing the Circle Productions Divinatory Staff, uh, published by Finhorn Publishing. I'm telling you people, go Google Finhorn in Scotland. You'll see what I mean. I mean, it's like one of the most magical places that I've heard of. I've never been to in this life, but I'm sure I've been there before. So, everybody has archangels available to them. They don't call unless you come because they're nice like that, right? Don't you hate it when somebody comes and knocks on your door out of nowhere? I hate that. <laughs> I hate that. Don't like uninvited guests of any way, shape, or form, particularly the invisible kind. Uh, that being said, uh, if you do call, they will come. Please take a nice deep breath. Your element, the element of air, even though it's the Archangel Fire Oracle, contradictions happen in life. Cope. Breathe. Let's keep this fun. Although it feels a little serious so far. Still point. As I call upon the pantheons of archangels for the Aquarian Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, and cross watches. Yeah, bend them cards. <laughs> Watching this video, receiving this reading, sharpen that pencil. Sharpie, sharpen that pencil. <laughs> Please, uh, uh, we went from from one stone to another. Please, one card in clarity, beloved archangels. Let's keep it sunny. Let's keep it funny. Let's keep it gay. In support of our beloved Aquarian Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, and Cross Watchers watching this video, receiving the, this reading. Who is the angel? In the wings, with the wings, ready, ready to swoop in. How, how extraordinary. Uh, uh, to uh, the element of air, to stoke the fire. The thought that feeds the desire. Uh, this uh, dreaming sweet and sleeping deep. With, I remember, grounding and protection. With, oh, to help remove some emotional blockages, some negative thoughts. To help them release all of that. With grounding and protection to manifest their heart's desires, their role in uh, the great ineffable plan, this beautiful, new to full uh, February, March. Oh, you got the Romani woman. Wow. Sachiel, S A C H, Sachiel? I guess that'd be Sachiel. S A C H I E L. Cross my palm of silver, I grant you a wish. Ho oh. uh, uh, ho <laughs> ho. It's a long time ago. Uh, Sachiel, card number 21. What I love about this card and deck system is that they don't put the keywords on the cards. This is brand, well, relatively brand new. I've done a bunch of readings with these so far. We didn't hear your keywords. Sachiel, wealth and charity. Wealth, wherein 
shall we? Uh, I need the magnifying glass for this itty bitty print. Here we go, breathe this in. Now this is element of air, this is your element, so think about this. Uh, the perfect angel to call on in times of scarcity, Satchiel, is the angel of charity and wealth. Her name means covering of God. Ooh, talk about protection. Ooh, you got your God covering on. Snazzy. Um, uh, uh, it is for this reason that many call to her to cover them when they owe money. Cover me. <laughs> so, so that kind of 1970s cop drama vibe. Hopefully that's not what you're going through. Um, Portrayed as a traditional traveler or gypsy woman, she acts as an angelic good luck trinket, okay, and is associated with fairness in trading, business, investments, insurance, and banking. Make sure that your intentions are of the utmost good when calling on Satchiel, as she often works on a reap as you sow basis. Well, there you go. So you have to really, really be honorable and integrous with your intentions. Uh, when you set your attention to align with your divine purpose for the good of yourself and the collective, she helps you become more affluent. So you are then able to assist others who may be less fortunate than you. You know what? That's so Aquarian. That's ridiculous. You guys are known for humanity. I'm right. Hands across America, save the whales. Save, I mean, Sarah McLaughlin animal commercials that make you dive for the remote. I mean, you guys have that kind of compassion uh, because you, you, you have more access, I think, to the idea of all of us being one. The message, true wealth lies within. It's time to place more value on yourself so you can be generous without feeling drained. So you need this sleep, regular good night's sleep, not just to, you know a good decent amount of time but so that you recharge so that you refresh so that you can move through whatever emotional mental stuff is going on here because it's about you being like a philanthropist right you being charitable and you're the most charitable sign i mean 11th house is like organizations and philanthropy and just all of that stuff it's really wonderful i love this for you Sachiel, good to remember. And I never met a Romani that I didn't like who didn't like me. <laughs> They're like, we like you. I'm like, yeah, because I'm of the Greek gods, sweetheart. And Dionysus, of all things, they usually want to have a good time. Shall we? Like we said, elemental water indicated here with the emotional stuff. And it is true. When your body's exhausted, your hormones and your chemicals and all of that, it's really, really hard to find balance in that without, right? When your nervous system is ex exacerbated, inflamed, right? Just click, like that. So, uh, you know, particularly if you work with electronics and stuff like that, and with people, or if you're an empath, the energy field gets clogged. So for you to have the wealth so that you can do your charitable best here in this world, I want to see you all be billionaires. Because then I bet you come on Patreon. <laughs> Kidding. No, I'm not. So, Element of Water, The Whispers of Love Oracle. Uh, yeah, by uh, Angela Hartfield. Uh, the voices of the higher selves of all involved. There are no Womp Womp cards in this deck, but the romantic one is in this. So let's see what hits the table. Let's see if we turn the party. Please take a nice deep breath. I freaking love what I do for a living. Still point. That's why I get away with so much. As I call upon the higher selves of all involved, fifth dimension and above, eighth chakra and above, what is the whisper of love for the element of water? The energy and motion that we experience as emotion, the divine love that is, uh, the, the power that is divine. Love is divine power, the sacred chart of the uh, truth of the heart chakra there. What do you got for the Aquarian Collective? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, signs, and cross watchers watching this video and receiving this reading. Their element of water, the energy and motion we experience as emotion to juice up this heart's desire that either is or does require uh, sweet dreaming and sleeping deep with the protection and the grounding to clear the emotional 
uh, uh, blockages there and the negative thoughts because stress is stress. It's like static on the channel and none of that's the truth of who we are. That's just conditioning and stuff we've picked up in the world and passed down through generations and generations. Uh, uh, so that he can, with the element of air, call upon Sachiel, 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 tomato, tomato, uh, in the element of air, their element for wealth so that they can really have that charity. They're very, very loving, generous people, but very, very wise and intelligent at the same time. So what's their element of water to help them pull this off, this beautiful, nutiful? There's a new love in your life. Well, this need not be a person. Can be. Embrace this new opportunity of love that is here. This may pertain to work opportunities or spiritual growth. I know who I'm sending this video to. <laughs> Maybe see him tomorrow when he comes over to do some repairs around the house. A dear friend of mine, my Aquarian. Wow, a new love. Now, sure. Why not? Why not have this if, if you're looking for the romantic thing? Could absolutely be new love in that way. But I think predominantly it's a new way of loving yourself. You know, depending on your age, right? Like, when I was 21, I used to be able to get away with a hell of a lot more than I do now. I could I'm rock and roll and I'd party every day and still pull an eight-hour shift in retail, God help me. Never again the retail times, right? So, uh, you know, this is a way of loving yourself and grounding yourself and taking your genius, your love, your unconditional, you know, vibe that, you know, a healthy, happy Aquarian has and keep that more grounded. Not all the time, obviously, but if money is an issue, now you know who to call. Not Ghostbusters. Not this time. Sorry. I ain't afraid of no ghost. <laughs> They're afraid of me. <laughs> they see me coming and they know he's going to kick us through the portal again. Damn right I am. Yeah, no, I don't do paranormal investigations. I do, I do exorcisms. A little little dragon's blood, black salt, and little Florida water. Yeah, they just run when they see me coming. All right, last card down, speaking of spirits. The card is Spirit, the Matcon Healing Mantra deck. Do the mantra with a smoky quartz or something similar. Sim sim like, go grab a rock off the street. Do the spell, call on Satchel, because if this shifts your financial situation so you can then, like, help and serve people by having enough money to do that. Maybe you don't give the money. Maybe you give more time and your energy in something that's new that you love. That sounds amazing. Please take a nice deep breath. Oh, nostril whistle. A little musical interlude. Still point. There's still something serious feeling about this. Okay, well, general read. <coughs> I call upon the Ascended Masters of the General Assembly because this is just applicable to too many different things, particularly with new love. That kind of opened it up to be just about anything. New job, new spiritual growth, new person in your life, new friend, new way of healing and loving the self, whatever. So please, beloved masters of the General Assembly, it's essentially all of you, one card in clarity for the card of spirit to jolt this thing, right? So got the components, they're going to plug it in, the perfect healing mantra for the card of spirit to help them manifest, right? To, uh, to do what need be done to manifest their element of fire with smoky quartz, wealth and charity in a new love venture experience full in, fill in the blank if you can for this beautiful beautiful rewiring the nervous system I find strength in surviving my traumas I had a feeling there was going to be something like that in there so your nervous system I mean we just talked about it your nervous system is essentially the wiring for everything in your body, right? It's like, whoops, power's out, right? So, you know, we're always rewiring. Every time you think a thought, something goes on in the brain and shifts the nervous system, right? And the more that the synapses fire, that's how they rewire. So that's why, me you know, meditation and, you know, affirmations and mantras and stuff like that are very, very helpful. So a mantra, I think, would get that. It's like, I find strength in surviving my traumas. Now, I worked this mantra a couple of nights ago. Mind you, I'm doing this during the waning moon, doing the shadow work. And my God, the stuff that I looked back on in my life that I survived, I was like, 
is there going to be an award show for this when I croak? Like, is it, you know, because fuck, man, I've been through a lot and I know a lot of my Aquarian friends have as well. As as the world, right? It's like nobody corners the market on that except some people. So let's get the, the pokey book for this one. Uh, it's a wonderful mantra because you do, that's alchemy. Surviving your traumas and rewiring your nervous system, which think about it, it's like rewiring a house, right? Like, <laughs> what do they do before Wi-Fi, right? Uh, let's see. Uh, it's, it's alphabetical, thankfully. It makes my job a little bit easier. <laughs> Rewiring uh, the nervous system. I find strength in surviving my traumas. Oh. When the nervous system is rewired, you are no longer trapped in the memories of your body. Cellular memory. Look up that online, and I ain't talking cell phones. You are the courageous hero or heroine of your present reality, honoring every moment of hardship as the means through which your infinite strength and greatest depth of character is revealed. The Hero's Journey. Joseph Campbell. Star Wars. Pick a movie. Usually there's a hero's journey, including a descent into the underworld, into the shadow at some point. This has not been easy. And there is a financial component here. I can feel it. And that's why it's so damn serious. It's like, this is about, I can't sleep because of my bills or because of, I have to borrow from Peter to pay Paul. You know, like, I know that gig. I am a mystical artist. It's not like I belong... <laughs> It's not like there are thousands of us, but I am a professional witch, and there are more and more of us every day, right? So keep this in mind. As you rewire your ner your nervous system, right, you're no longer responding uh, to life from a vantage point of your painful past, but instead are open to each encounter being more miraculous than the moment before. That would sort of indicate an emotional kind of new love here. It's like, oh, there is something new. Oh, my God. I've survived that. I'm ready for the new, right? The cake has been baked. It's no longer hot batter. It's cake. Um, uh, this mantra is ideal for adjusting to life after loss. Makes sense. Healing heartbreak, which is akin to disappointment, uh, and becoming more optimistic. And man, an optimistic Aquarius is kind of unstoppable. Because you're fixed air. You can be like, no, this is going to be the most amazing thing we've ever done. And the next thing you know, people are lining up and joining your organ organization. You know, just try Crystal like this one. Did I just make a Jim Jones joke yet? <laughs> Sorry. If you knew my family. <laughs> You understand where the salt comes from in my sense of humor. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to put this together. We're going to synthesize it in what's called a blessimation. A synthesization of the word blessing and summation. Uh, to put this together, it's what I do best. The grace of prayer I was born with, apparently, in my contract. And then that'll be the end of the reading. But if you want to hang out for the very, very end of the reading, uh, I will release you all from my uh, cell tissue by letting whatever goofy or whatever needs to be said out of my cell tissue. And usually it makes me giggle. Please take a nice deep breath. Spoonful of organic raw honey to make the medicine go down. <sighs> Still point. If you, if you knew my archangel, you'd get it. <sighs> As I call upon the collective pantheons of the divine for the Aquarian collective sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, and cross watchers watching this video and receiving this reading, may they be blessed with all that they need to manifest their heart's desire as they rewire their nervous system, as they embrace and acknowledge that they find strength in surviving their traumas and survive their traumas indeed they have so that they can embrace this new love that is either already present in their energy field in their life or is on its way and it has something to do with wealth and charity for sure in the element of air so that they could call remember to call on Sakiel Sachiel please forgive me I don't know the cr the correct pronunciation but I will look into it as they ground as they deal with the emotional blockages Particularly if they're empaths, how many people are feeling lack of funds right now or lack of opportunities or whatever. It's in the air. It's in the collective. And they're a sign of the collective uh, consciousness, for sure. Aquarians with all that humanitarian. So that they can be charitable and be grounded about it and release some stuff, of course, by getting that they have survived and they are ready for something new, that their traumas have just made them stronger. So that they can get what they need, so they can recharge their batteries, come back into alignment. 
reset, revive, refine with dreaming sweet and sleeping deep. Sleep that's deep and lasts till morn. May they have wonderful dreams for days reborn. For the well-being of all, and with harm to none. As we will it, so let it be done. So motivate. And so it is. I did not nod off. That was a stillness pause. It's still coming. Did you like it? Like it. Hit the thumbs up. Help the other aqua lungs and aquariums find this reading. Because I'm not monetized on YouTube. I haven't been for over a year. Why? Because YouTube was my gateway drug to Patreon. Patreon.com. I love it so much. I swear. Every morning I really actually wake up, make myself look somewhat decent, put on a bath or a brew coffee, and do a live stream every morning. I haven't missed a day in like a really long time. Because I'm really loving it over there. My subscribers must be because they're hanging in there and more are coming. So if you want the deeper dive and look, if things go free, yeah, wonderful. I, I will open up the daily uh, check-ins to the public, whoever wants to subscribe, but there's no algorithm over there. So if you uh, join my Patreon, you get everything I have offered according to what level of subscription that you got. And uh, if you want to book me for a private reading, there is a link in the description box to a video here on YouTube called Booking a Reading with Mal. Explains everything you ever wanted to know about booking a reading with Mal, but maybe we're afraid to ask. And uh, come uh, May 1st, I have a feeling my prices are going to change. I've been 100 bucks an hour since 1998. I think 25 years is a good time to maybe upgrade a little. Yeah, I think so too. Particularly that the wealth and charity card just hit the table. So book me if you like. But more important than that, I love Love you, freaks of the zodiac and fixed air wonders, your 11th housers, humanitarians. Hang in there. I love you. I want the very best and the very blessed for all of you. So hang in there. Make your heart's desires come true. Heal, hail, farewell, and blessed, blessed be.